Hello friends, my name is Natalia Porsche and I am an attorney who is based in Biloxi, Mississippi. In this video, I will talk about roles and adjustment of status in the United States. Okay, so we will cover an immigration law here. All right, so what happened if you, for example, was granted a parole and at the border of entry to the United States and you was let in with a parole, right? So what happened if you met someone in the United States and now you got married, right? And you're going through adjustment of status. The question is, do you have to leave the United States and do a waiver in order to be admissible and to do the adjustment of status, right? So here, the situation is clearly shows that you do not need to leave the United States in order to adjust your status. Why? Because you had a lawful entry. Even if your parole later expired before you file for adjustment of status and it's forms I-130 and form 48 five, I believe. It's adjustment of status, green card forms. So whenever you file this package, right, all together, that means you can adjust your status here in the United States without leaving the United States. So here, if you was granted the parole at the board of entry and you entered the country legally, you are admissible, even if your parole expired, okay, later on. So what do I mean by that? Again, that you can adjust your status here in the United States, but only only if you do not face any other grounds of inadmissibility, such as criminal ground and etc., under immigration nationality law. Okay, so let's look at different situation. For example, if you entered the United States, you was not granted a parole at the entry. Let's say the ICE put you in detention center, right? So CBP did let you in, but uh, you was subsequently detained by ICE, and at the same time, and you was, and they send you to a detention center here in the United States and later on you apply for a parole from detention center, for example, in the form of humanitarian parole, right? And ICE, uh, using discretionary measure, uh, did grant you parole and now you was paroled. But the problem in this case, that you was paroled out of the detention center, right? You was not paroled at the border. So you have different kind of parole, right? So you was not paroled into the United States you was paroled out of the detention center and a lot of people they're confused and they think that if they were paroled out of the detention center they treat it as a parole but this is a different kind of parole this parole will not allow you to adjust your status here in the United States you will have to do a waiver you will have to go through consular processing abroad right so because here you was not paroled at the border you was paroled out out of detention center so you are not admissible unless there is some kind of other circumstances that apply specifically to your case and remember guys again this is only educational videos on my youtube channel or facebook or instagram or, uh, depends where you're watching it so therefore please do not treat it as an attorney's advice this is not an attorney's advice this is a general info only so again the difference between paroles is one parole was granted at the border and you received this parole and before you enter the United States and you enter the United States here lawfully, of course. So now you can adjust your status even if your parole has expired, right? If your visa, immigrant visa, is immediately available to you, for example, if you marry a U.S. citizen. Now, if you were paroled out of detention center here, you were not paroled into the United States, right? So this is kind of humanitarian parole, different kind of parole. So therefore, you are not adjustable, you are inadmissible, right? So therefore, you will have to leave the country, seek a waiver in order to adjust your status. So I just wanted to make this video because a lot of people are confused again about, you know, whether they can adjust and they think if they enter the southern border, right, let's say if they travel from Mexico to the United States and they were paroled or let in to the United States, but they put them subsequently into detention center. So therefore, it's not a parole. How to find out if, you know, you have this situation where you were granted the parole at the border, but at 
the same time it was not the parole that you're thinking you have. So the best way to do it is to contact an experienced immigration attorney. Those two paroles are covered on the different section of INA. Therefore, it's it's different laws, right, that cover it. So one law, one section allows adjustment, and the other section is not allowing adjustment. So therefore, always, always, always contact an experienced immigration lawyer regarding your specific case. If you need a consultation with my office, you can call 228-229-7500, Ablo Espanol, Gavarim Paruski, or you can go to my website, nataliaporschlawfirm.com. Always welcome, or you can call WhatsApp, 228-229-7500. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you like this video, put thumbs up. If you're watching me on YouTube or uh, make a comment on Facebook, subscribe to my channel. Always so grateful, guys, for watching me. Thank you so much and have a great day.